Coming off a disappointing 500 season in 1976, Texas fans were more than happy to say namaste to new head coach Fred Akers. Hey, I'm Michael Callahan, and on this forgotten day in Longhorns football presented by Direct Energy, September 30th, 1977, Coach Akers was said to be teaching the Longhorns the concepts of deep relaxation and visualization. His hope was that it would lead to increased self-motivation and individual accountability. And it turns out Akers was smarter than the average yogi. In what was expected to be a rebuilding year, the Longhorns embarrassed Boston College and Virginia by a combined score of 112 to nothing to begin the season. And the Texas players visualized even more points for their third game against Rice. Led by a banged up Earl Campbell's 131 yards and four touchdowns on just 13 carries, the Longhorns destroyed Rice 72 to 15. Also adding to Longhorns lore that day was kicker Russell Erksleben. In the third quarter, he came out to attempt a 67-yard field goal. If successful, it would set a new NCAA Division I-A record. Coach Akers said of the kick, it was like a gunshot. We couldn't believe a ball was going that far. It had another eight yards on it. Erksleben's legendary kick has yet to be bested. The next week, it was Red River rivalry time as the now number five ranked Longhorns were set to face the number two ranked Oklahoma Sooners. The Longhorns faced major adversity as their top two quarterbacks were both knocked out of the game by the second quarter with injuries. So a third stringer with a name nobody was sure how to even pronounce, Randy McEachern, had to go under center. Thankfully, Earl Campbell put Randy and the rest of the Longhorns on his back, rushing for 124 yards, including the game's only touchdown on a 24-yard sprint to the house as Texas prevailed 13-6. Campbell led the nation in rushing that season and took home the Heisman Trophy. The Longhorns finished the regular season 11-0 and ranked number one. And lucky for you guys, I just can't seem to visualize what happened against the Fighting Irish in the Cotton Bowl. Namaste. All right, who is your all-time favorite Longhorns player? Let us know in the comments below or tweet me, Michael Callahan at MCallahanTV using hashtag ForgottenDayUT.